Okay, the main importance uh, our customer wants is to maintain the distance between those two wheels because that's what keeps it going down the track uh, and, keep, and that width regulates its uh, tracking. Alright, so we uh, came in here and what we have is about 9650 and about 48, somewhere around in there. Uh, the dimension that we found before we took it apart was nine and a half or nine point four nine five so we basically got uh, 70 75 thousandths uh, to go ahead and take down on each side so what that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take the last seven thousandths off of there and take the 75 off both ends then we'll polish these and we'll polish the whole shaft and we're ready to press it together all right we've completed both diameters and rolling over the end of the shaft Given a nice radius. A lot of old schools were all hand rolled over radius with a, a draw file. And, uh, you know, nowadays somebody would just kiss it off with a chamfer and call it done. Uh, but uh, nice and round and smooth. All right, we're going to polish it up and um, get ready to put on the wheels here. So throw on a quick polish. Watch out you don't get bit by the dog. Alright, she's ready to uh, assemble. Within a thousandth. We're good. Alright, here's the uh, the two bearings for the axle on the uh, steam locomotive uh, idler wheel set. <coughs> and uh, we're, we've got to open up this bore, but before we can do any machine work to it, we've got to rid of all of the hammer, the gouges, the dropsies, um, a lot more hammer on these blocks here so that we can set them up in the vise and precisionly bore down through there. This is the pressure side, this is the uh, oil bath side. Yeah, we'll make a piece of felt in here afterwards and, uh, uh, and then the oil, when, it, when the oil is squirted into the little orifice there, it goes in around the shaft this this cavity here you preload before you put it up there also so you don't have to uh, squirt a lot in there at, at the initial start there now they got somebody wanted to make sure they got a match mark and they got to stay in sets somehow they might be slightly mismatched over the years um, one thing that I did notice real hard to see but straight line machining in the blocks was done by a shaper. Alright, so we're going to take a file and we're going to knock the real high spot off so it doesn't damage our paper. And then we're just going to give them a light rub until we make them 100% true and flat to the faces that they originally were made. It's funny, the uh, straight lines that I was talking about in the uh, blocks here, you can hear the whistle of the, uh, the grain. Okay, we're not trying to get rid of the lows, we're just trying to knock off all the highs, making sure this, this gives up a little bit more. I use my granite stone more for uh, paper lap than anything else. 
and all that hammering right there pushed all that material up on this side here. There's one set that is at least square enough to locate it in the vise again. Let's do the other one. Second set. Okay, uh, we're assembling these blocks now to get ready to uh, bore them. And uh, the way we do that is we, we blow them off, they're clean. And we're having a pair of uh, parallels here that will hold them even in the horizontal position and in line longitudinally with a slight little pressure. Without really getting everything super tight, we want to draw the nuts down a little bit. Paying attention to the split lines. They were a little bit bigger units. Uh, they would probably have dowel pins that locate them to each other and perfectly line up the splits. Now we're using a plastic mallet here, not a metal hammer, not a bronze one, nothing uh, really hard and heavy. That for some reason feels high. We're going to pop it out, feel the other side. That feels smooth. Okay, so we got to live. We got to live with that. We're going to bore it with this side up. Okay, snug that a little bit. Now we're going to do the final tightening. Okay. Now we can pull them out and there's our two blocks ready to bore. Now we're going to go ahead and zero in on our vise. And uh, another thing that we checked uh, that's real important is the, the distance between the resting spot and the bore on both of these are the same, right in line. We're going to dial in, dial in both of these the same way and bore them to have a thousandths clearance on the shaft. Okay, we, uh, we finished lapping them in and we got a good fit on there and we cleaned them up and now we're adding uh, 
a small piece of felt in the bottom here and it's just got to lay in there like that and it's just barely got to make contact so you don't want something to be down below the surface you need to have it touching the uh, shaft so we've got one in there and this one here was a little deeper pocket so we stacked two on top of each other now you don't have to fill this whole entire uh, a cavity uh, with felt you only need to have it touching the shaft and the center is a good position all right now we'll assemble them okay I'm just gonna put he's gonna have to take these apart and assemble them so we're just gonna put just enough for assembly lube in here and D and D go together And he has longer bolts to go in here too. This is this is just for our own uh, assembly and making sure everything is fitting up fine. A and A. 